Hello and welcome to chapter 8 of our Python 3 Basics tutorial series. This part is going to be dedicated to the else statement and more importantly the combination of if and else. So the idea of the if-else pairing is to add another layer of logic to the usage of your if statement. So the else statement actually can be used in other ways. It can be used with the while loop, a for loop, except, and, and all some others. But here the idea is the if statement. And basically what it's going to do is this, the if statement, as mentioned before, if statement is going to ask if something is the case, do something. And if it is not the case, then do something else, right? So if something is the case, do that. Else, do something else. So let's just show a very basic example of this. So we'll say x equals 3, y equals 6. We can then ask if x is less than y, print x is less than y. Then we say else print x y x is not less than y. So we can save and run that, and we actually get 3 is less than 6. But what if we said x is not 3, but 13? We can run that. The if statement is false, so the else runs, and we get 13 is not less than 6. Now, what if we threw another if statement in here, and we said if x is greater than y, print x is greater than comma y, like that. And the question is whether or not if is greater than y. This one asked if x was less than y, but this if statement now, since x is greater than y, is actually going to be false. This if statement, however, is going to be true. So the question is, will the else statement run? Because this one was false. No, it will not run. The else statement is only going to pertain to the most, or not even the most recent if, it's only going to pertain to the statement that immediately preceded it. So in this case, it was an if x is greater than y. So we can run this. And the only thing we get is 13 is greater than 6, which is this statement right here that rang true, so it ran. So that is the if-else statement. And just to quickly recap, obviously our if statement is asking if something is the case, do something. The if-else statement is going to say if something is the case, do something else, do something else. And the, under the only circumstance that the else statement will run is if the immediately preceding if statement is false. Or you might, like I said, you can use it with the while and the for and except and all that. Maybe get to that later. But for now, if is the only thing that you will see else used with. Now, as I said, that we can't stack if statements like this, but you might find that you wish to stack if statements. And your question, you might want to ask three questions. And then if all three of those questions were false, then you wanted to run the else statement. And you were probably hoping, if that was you, that the, all of these if statements would pertain to this else, but that is not the case. But, luckily for us, built into Python is another statement called the elif statement, and that's what we're going to be talking about in chapter 9. So this was the if-else statement, and stay tuned for the elif-else statement pairings.